Mark Luther Coleman, thank you for joining me. I'd like to start by wishing all the women out there in my life and all the women out there that I don't know a very happy International Women's Day. Today is March 8th, uh, 2020, International Women's Day. So have a wonderful day, ladies, and uh, congratulations, and celebrate your uniqueness in society. Women are the stronger sex. You know that. You've always known that. Us mere men, we're, we're learning it as we go. Uh, my mother, my mother, 82, thank God, uh, and Helen Harty uh, has often said, if I come back, I'm coming back as a man, right? If I come back, I'm coming back as a man. And uh, I remember one year wishing her Happy Mother's Day. And uh, she said, oh, there's only one Mother's Day. And that's nine months after Father's Night. <laughs> Where would you get it? Anyway, I love you, man. Um, so, happy International Women's Day, ladies. Um, I had the strangest, most interesting week this week. You couldn't make it up. You could not make it up. Spoke to hundreds of people this week. Blessed to have been able to speak to hundreds of people this week in uh, lots of different parts of the country and from every possible different socio-economic background. Started off early in the week where I got asked to speak to a group of traveller children in a particular school in a rural town in Ireland. From there went to meet a beautiful group of uh, about 15 beautiful traveller teenage girls uh, in, in, in the same rural town. And uh, we had a wonderful conversation, just absolutely beautiful. Um, really interesting people, really interesting backgrounds. Got me thinking about uh, Warren Buffett and his book, The Snowball, in which he refers to a concept called the ovarian lottery. And the ovarian lottery basically is, you know, uh, how many billions of possibilities had to be lost out there for you to actually have been born in the first instance. And then you were born into a particular set of circumstances, as were those kids, as were those, those girls, as was I, into a particular set of circumstances completely beyond our control. That's the ovarian lottery. So I go from speaking to the traveller children and the traveller teens to two very different schools one, a country town school, spoke to the principal there, who's in charge of a very large school, very nice school, with a huge cohort, huge cohort of non-national children, which provides for a very different and very exciting dynamic in that particular school, ovarian lottery completely at play. From there, I went to speak to a principal of a very nice uh, city school, where, again, ovarian lottery, huge part to play, and this is definitely not an underprivileged area at all at all. Every child there was brought to school uh, in either a fancy car or, uh, or were you know, attended to as they cycled to school or scootered to school. Uh, but again, very different dynamic. And those children have been born into circumstances entirely beyond their control, but very privileged in the main. Next day, I ended up speaking to a group of teenagers in a fee-paying private school, worlds apart from where my week started. And then Friday was a completely different day again. Started with a Zoom meeting, Zoom video meeting with some of the executive committee of a charity, CARI. And CARI is a volunteer therapy service that, uh, whose therapists work with children and families who've been traumatized by child sexual abuse. One of the most heinous crimes in the world, in my opinion. And from there I go to address a wonderful group of ladies and men at uh, Dunleary Rathdown's International Women's Day celebration in conjunction with Women in Business Alliance and that's held in uh, the Royal Marine Hotel in Dunleary. I mean, poles apart from where my week started. Indeed, poles apart from where my Friday started. And I realised I'm absolutely blessed, blessed and privileged to be able to go and weave my way through those various different worlds because they're very different worlds. And I get to learn stuff as I go through those very various different worlds. And I get to share my thinking as I go through those various different worlds. And, you know, I started several of the groups this week by asking people to turn to their neighbours and say, you could be my teacher. And I be believe it to be true. And while I'm in those groups, oftentimes seen as the teacher, I'm also learning as I go. I meet the most interesting, wonderful people as I travel through life. So on this International Women's Day 2020, I'd like to invite you to consider for a moment how blessed you are. Consider how good your life is in the main. I'm quite sure there's stuff going on in your life, as there is in mine, that you'd prefer wasn't, that I'd prefer wasn't. But it is. But you know what? We're here. We're here, you and I, today. Okay? And we were born into circumstances entirely beyond our control. I hope for you it was good. 
maybe it wasn't. But you've got no control over the past. You've only got control over today and the future. So if life isn't great today or needs to be better in some area, happy days, take steps towards that. But start with being grateful for being where you are today. Look at, find something today to be grateful for on this International Women's Day 2020. So be grateful for all the good stuff that's happening in your life today. And if something needs changing, I'm going to give you three things that I recommend you consider believing in for things to get even better into the future. First of those is God, a higher power. I'm not here to preach, but I'm suggesting to you to consider the possibility of there being something out there, something bigger than you, something bigger than me, uh, something that's all powerful and all loving and all giving and all forgiving. And if that's the case, if you choose to believe in a higher power, well then hand over your troubles to that higher power and ask for help and then be willing to accept help as it comes your way. Second thing I recommend you consider believing in is the inherent goodness of most people. Most people are good people willing to help if you ask them. They're not mind readers so sometimes you've got to get out there and ask for the help that you feel perhaps you deserve but if they don't know you need the help how can they offer it? But believe in the inherent goodness of most people. A few bad people out there unfortunately don't worry about them. Move on. Next Okay? And then the third thing I recommend you consider believing in is you. Believe a little more in you today than you did yesterday. Believe a little more in the opportunity that life has afforded you today than you did yesterday. And then believe a little more in you again tomorrow. And a little more in you again the next day. I promise you, hold on to those three things and life will get even better day by day from now on. And on this International Women's Day 2020, thank you for joining me for this week's Coffee with Column. Hope and trust as ever you got something from it. Please consider what's been shared here today and apply it into your thinking for this next week. And then equally as importantly, come back next week and we'll share another coffee together and I'll ruminate on some other aspect of life and business. Between now and then, get some great coffee for sure. Get some fresh air for sure. Get some R and R. If you spend too much time with people, I recommend you take a little time alone. And conversely, if you spend too much time alone, I recommend you go out and meet some people. And then when the time is right, and only when the time is right, get your head back in the game, get organized for the week ahead, get stuck in, make next week count, be grateful for where you are, be grateful for the ovarian lottery that got you here, take steps to change what needs changing, and I'll see you here this time next week for another Coffee of the Column. Slaunch it. Ah, I love great coffee. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.